Hello, my name is Julian Huitrago. I am from Colombia. I am 34 years old. My email address is Huitrago Hernandez Julian Alberto at gmail.com. I am a student worker, student worker. I live in United States. Mm, I live in mm, Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia is a small city. Mm, it doesn't have public transportation. Mm, there are many African American people. Mm, they are some good universities and they are in the um, downtown. It is a calm, safe, and affordable place. Mm, I like um, soccer. Mm, I like uh, spaghetti with sauce. Mm. My favorite mo mu movie is um, Fast and Furious because the movie was great to people um, that like cars. I like cars. I love cars. Mm. My favorite book is um, El Coronel No Tiene Quien Le Escriba of Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Mm, because mm, it is a book that show the really of my country. Mm, it is very interesting and it has perspectives of life of Colombia. Um, I am angry a little. Mm, I am not so patient, <laughs> but I am friendly. I am like to help people. Somebody need help, I can do that. Mm. My routines and weekend plans. Mm. From Monday to Fridays mm, in the morning, mm, I wake up early in the morning Mm. I start to clean the house mm. after I go to take the breakfast. Mm. Then I organize, organize, organize my materials for my English class. Mm. Oh, I go to check my assignments. At midday, um, I go take the lunch, and after I go to work, I am drive, main drive. Um, um, I finish to work around seven o'clock, seven p.m., and I go back home. Then I share dine with my family and I do assignments or oh, I check assignments again. Mm. I I had to do any or some work, mm. some homework. Mm. I try to do that in the in the night. And after mm, I go to rest or go to sleep. Mm. A very significant person in my life is my son. My son uh, is six years old. Mm. My son has straight and fine hair, a small mouth, small nose, mm. big brown eyes. Mm. He has a brown skin. Mm, he's slim and tall. Mm, my son or 
Martins, personality is the best. Mm, he's honest, mm, he's a friendly, he's associable mm, and talkative. <laughs> so talkative. Mm, in addition, Martin is very smart. It's a very smart son. Mm, he speaks English and Spanish mm, very well. Mm. Um, happy experience. Mm. I have a history for for you. Mm. Share an experience that made you feel happy. I think that teaching English in Spanish mm, or teaching English and Spanish to foreign people is amazing. I love teaching and sharing with other people. So, for example, in this story, I had a, I have um, a Filipinos friendlies, but the Filipinos friendlies um, doesn't doesn't know about the Spanish and in words Spanish um, Spanish words. Um, But the Filipinas, I, I had to, I have to teach. Uh, we, were a, uh, we were a class in the last week. The first class was um, how to prepare uh, arepas. <laughs> uh, arepas, Colombian arepas. Mm. But I talk to um, I talk to the um, um, the menu um, and how to prepare arepas and some words relate with that experience I was teaching them words like butter um, cook um, flour um, hot salt water mist Add, push, prepare, pat, mm, inside, up, and down. So all mm, words in Spanish. Mm, a worried experience the, mm, in USA. Mm, I had a other history. Mm, the first days when I arrived at United States, I was very nervous. I use it to learn some specific sentences and words <laughs> before going to buy something. Mm. When I go to, when I went to go, when I went to the gas station, I needed to put gas for my car, but mm, I don't, I didn't know how Mm, how to ask to the cashier but I remember the I remain remembering the sentences when I when I went to the cashier lady the lady say me can I help you I say that I say to her can you Give me twenty dollars for gas in the number eight. But the lady told me, oh, the lady say really fast. Ah, so repeat the question. So I I feel nervous. Mm because I don't understand. So I, I, I had to prepare a sentence, but I don't weigh a different question. It was terrible. I tried to explain that situation. And thank you so much for this opportunity, teacher and classmate.